We continue our series of reports tonight called Friends for Life. And they're personal stories dealing with health issues that impact women. And they come from all of us, the women at 6 News. Alexandra Illich here joining us to tell us about a method that Dr. David Straley from Flint developed in order to find breast cancer early. Tell us. Yes, Jane, as you know, the method that he uses is an MRI, mm -hmm. but it's how it is used that really is amazing. The facility is called Regional Medical Imaging, and it's the only one in the country. It all started with aviation, or lack of a better word, the art of flying. One of the reasons why thunderstorms is such a problem is that uh, you literally can't fly into them, and if you have a lot of dense clouds obscuring uh, the way, uh, it makes it very difficult to see these things. Using his degree in aerospace, Dr. David Straley started researching ways to bring technology that's used in meteorology to medicine. We're using ground-based, highly accurate radars that operate very similar to an MRI scanner uh, in finding thunderstorms that are obscured by dense clouds, just like uh, the problem we're having with uh, mammograms with the dense breast tissue obscuring uh, active breast cancer. Dr. Straley, who taught people how to fly while he was learning how to practice medicine, got a phone call from a student one day. Uh, he called up and said, I have a real problem. One of my daughters has breast cancer and I don't think she's going to survive. That led to a two-year research study where he scanned 671 women who had negative mammograms. And what he found is astonishing. The research showed that we were picking the cancers up four to six years sooner than uh, the mammograms in women with dense breast tissue. According to Dr. Straley, mammograms are less than 50% accurate in women with dense breasts, meaning that a woman could be checked off as good to go when there could be a slight chance she isn't. Mammograms have saved a lot of lives and a lot of women have died because mammograms couldn't pick the disease up. It's almost 50-year-old technology. I'm going to show you two pictures from scans taken from the same patient using two different screening methods. First, take a look at this one. This is the result of a mammogram. It reveals that the patient has dense breast tissue and there doesn't appear to be any tumors. Now look at this one. Same patient, same breast. This MRI reveals something different. Cancer, the size of almost two inches. This isn't just any MRI. The procedure takes just seven and a half minutes, to which every second is being monitored by a technician. Our own 6 News anchor, Jane Aldrich, is among the many women who has dense breast tissue. Because of her diagnosis, in addition to getting regular mammograms, she gets MRIs to make sure she's okay. This was Jane's first time experiencing the quicker version of Dr. Straley's MRI method. She was prepped and taken into where it would all happen. We had a camera rolling as she got screened. Jane, the knocking's going to start up. It's going to run for about a minute. There's no radiation at all with an MRI, which I really like. And, and the fact that it's, it's using radio waves with basically atoms. It's an amazing... Um, it's an amazing procedure. And Jane got results of her screening that same day. We're on our way in, Jane. You're all done. In the past when I've had mammograms, and I've had these my whole life practically, there's always that waiting period, a couple weeks before you get something in the mail. What I liked about the MRI is within an hour, I had information. Now this gets transferred into our other building. Oh, okay. Where then we develop all the images. Okay. This unique technology is what Dr. Straley calls the miracle of breast MRI. But what we have proved is that we're picking these cancers up a lot sooner in very small numbers, three, four, and five millimeters in size, which significantly uh, or can reduce significantly any radiation or chemotherapy, may even eliminate it. But it doesn't stop there. Through this method, they have also found a way to significantly reduce costs because an MRI that catches cancer early is a lot cheaper than the chemotherapy and surgery it would take to fight a larger tumor. How many women would sur have survived the disease had we found the cancer up to six years earlier? Mm -hmm. uh, my opinion is a whole lot. Which is what this is doing now. Exactly. Yeah, he's very passionate about yes. this. And Allie, you found out that that's not the only new technology this doctor is working on to fight cancer, right? Yeah, he does a lot of things. And right now, him and his team, they're experiencing with another very interesting method. If a woman does have breast cancer, they're working on, it, on implementing a tool that would kill the cancer in the breast by freezing it with a needle. 
So that would mean that there would be absolutely no surgery involved. But again, there's, it's something they're still working on. Working on, on yeah. but it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it has a lot really of potential, Allie. Yeah. Thank you. And as our special Friends for Life series continues tomorrow on 6 News at 6, as you just saw in Allie's report, I got that faster type of breast MRI. And tomorrow I'm going to tell you why I decided to do that. And really the answer is simple. With dense breast tissue like I have, getting a mammogram for me hurts. I'm going to share more of my personal story with the hope that it will help other women like me know you're not alone. Join us tomorrow on 6 News at 6.